I'm going to show you a Dita Von Tees tutorial. I'm Emily Loftus, your beauty expert, and this is my model, Natasha. So first we're going to start with foundation. So this is Clinique. I use a Acne Solutions. I think it's genius when you put it on models because they wear so much makeup. This is the best thing for them. We've already primed the face. Now we're just putting a little bit of color to make sure it's a very matte finish and a flawless finish. And now Dita, she never has shimmer. So it's very matte, constant matte finish. So now we're going to define the eyebrow. We're going to start with brown and then we're going to pull some black into it. So we're going to start with an angled brush and little by little just bring the baby hairs. Dita always has a very strong brow. And like I always say, I like using shadow instead of using a pencil because it looks real. It doesn't look like some of those old ladies you see that have like drawn on their eyebrows. <laughs> this looks natural. So this is just with brown, and now we're gonna pull some black into it. This is just black. It's gonna look really great with her dark hair. But you never wanna start with black and then go to brown. You wanna start with brown, and that will show you exactly what you need to do. It automatically just gives a very classic look. It's a very 1940s, classic glamour girl. So next we're just gonna do a taupe on the eyelid. This is the angled brush. Just gonna bring it all the way through, just to have a little bit of color, no shimmer, matte finish. We just need to have a, a very basic, plain eyelid so the liquid liner will really pop. So Dita is known for her liquid eyeliner. First we're going to start with a pencil to make sure we have exactly what we want and then we will go over it with the liquid. So this is just a plain black pencil crayon. We're just going to go straight across and then we'll worry about the winged liner in a minute. Now for a winged liner, there's many ways you can do it. You can go straight up, you can do a little curl. Um, personally, I'm just going to extend her natural line so that the lashes will just flare together. So I'm just going to bring the line all the way up to where it is in the crease. It's very hard to make sure this is even, so that's why we use a pencil. You're just going to fill it in just a little bit, a natural cat eye. Now we are ready for the liquid liner just to fill in what we just did. So I'm just gonna start from where I was and just bring it in. And even when I finish, we're gonna just let it dry. This is really just practice makes perfect. I like to start from the outside and then bring it all the way into the corners of the eye. This is a hard look to do, but any little mistakes that you make, the eyelashes will definitely make up for it to cover up any mistakes. Start from the outside and work your way in. So now the liner is drying, so we're gonna add lashes on top. I'm gonna use the dark um, lash adhesive. I just think it's easier. Nothing's worse when you can see a white adhesive. So I really like to use these half lashes so I can see exactly where we're going. So I just wanna make sure the lashes are an extension of the hard work we just did on the eyeliner. It will dry clear. Sometimes you can do the mascara first to make sure the lashes are already prepped. Doesn't really matter. We just don't want to mess up the eyeliner that we just did. That's why you have to really give yourself enough time to let it dry. The trick about putting your lashes on, you just make sure you push them in over and over again. Make sure they're really adhering to the lashes and then you go up. We're going to do mascara right on the top. Make sure the lashes are all combined, the real lashes and the fake lashes. We want it to be one cohesive lash. It's always best to go from the bottom and jiggle, really get in there. The eyes are done, so now we're gonna go to the signature red lipstick of Dita Von Teese. You can do a red lip liner, you can do a taupe, a, a baby pink, or you can go for red. I am gonna go for a baby pink one, because sometimes when you go for the red, it's just too much. We just wanna very lightly outline the lips, what we're about to do. Same thing as like what we did the eyes. We're just telling ourselves what we're gonna do next. So now we're gonna go to the red lipstick. We're gonna stay in the perimeters that we got from the lip liner. We're not gonna use a gloss because Dita never uses a gloss. She always uses a matte finish. There's so many beautiful reds out there. I love Stila. I love um, Russian Red from MAC. You just need to find the right one for you. So we're almost done for this final look. We're just going to use Neutrogena's Shine Control Powder to make sure there's no shine. This is actually the opposite of what most starlets do. Most starlets really wanna have dewy, youthful looking skin, but Dita is like the old classics, and she wants a matte finish, 
And to finish the entire look, you have to do the liquid eyeliner signature mole. So on top of the cheekbone, voila, and she's done. So this is a Dita Von T signature look. Here's the recap. First, we did a dark eyebrow. We did brown first, and then we went over with a black. So we did a black pencil liner and really did a wing. Next, we added liquid liner. Then we did the false eyelashes and mascara. Then we did a lip liner, red lipstick, a finished powder so there's no matte, and then, of course, the signature mole. This is Dita Von T's signature look. I'm Emily Loftus, your beauty expert. Thank you to Natasha, my stunning model. Thank you. And for more information on me, make sure you head to Loftus Says. Thanks so much for watching.